Farm Bureau. We are thrilled to be joined by a, uh, a young man whose life has changed pretty dramatically in the last month, and that is Connor Griffin, who was drafted in the first round by the Pittsburgh Pirates and has just signed his contract with the Pirates. Connor, uh, out of Jackson, Mississippi, played his high school baseball at Jackson Prep. Connor, first of all, man, congratulations. What a whirlwind it must have been. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was, uh, it's, it's been a crazy few weeks uh, in my life, but something I've always dreamed of and, you know, glad to get my pro career started. I, I can't wait to see what happens. We, we joked just a little while ago that if, you're, uh, if your college decision had been different than the one it was, we might be a little bit bummed out. But as it is, we're really excited for you that you're ready to launch into this, this pro baseball career. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that. You – you were very close to the vest about what your future held. LSU was very much an option that was for you on the table, but ultimately making this decision that it's time to get the pro career going. Yeah, yeah. so I think going to LSU, uh, that would have been a great great option as well. It was, a, it was a hard decision. I had two really great options, go to LSU or start my pro career. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good spot to be sitting in for sure. But – you know, with with the poker starting, I'm ready to you know go go compete, go face some uh, really good players, and you know skip that college level. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I'm, I know there's gonna be a lot of adversity just because I'm a high school guy, uh, and you know I'm gonna be seeing pitches and pitching that I don't you know really see in the in the high school level. But uh, I'm I'm ready to compete. I, if I went to Baton Rouge, I was gonna be ready to compete and go go to work and. Uh, I'm going to do the same as I'm trying to, you know, get through the get through the minor leagues and work my, work my way to the big leagues. Connor, this has been the plan for you for a long time, and you made a decision after your your ninth grade season that that kind of changed the trajectory for you a little bit. You reclassified, and I guess basically skipped your sophomore season and then played two more years. Tell us a little bit about that decision, why you made it, and how that kind of shaped the next couple of years. Yeah, so I reclassed because I thought um, it would just kind of push me and uh, push me to play against older players, better competition. I was I was the older guy for the 2025 class, uh, so being able to, being able to jump up to the 24 class and play against older guys, I think uh, it made me better as a player. Uh, the, the academic side of it was pretty tough, but I went to a great school uh, in Jackson Prep uh, that was able to allow me allow me to knock it out and. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't be sitting here in, in Pittsburgh right now if I if I didn't reclass. So it was a great decision. Um, you know, just helped me grow as a player, and uh, that was the most important thing is you know pushing me and, and challenging me, which uh, which you know reclassing uh, ultimately did. Connor, my my friend William Griffin, who lives there in the Jackson area and has been around prep athletics for a long time, sent me some pictures yesterday, and there was one in particular that really grabbed me. You were standing high behind home plate at PNC Park and kind of looking down on the field. You've got that new jersey on, still in the shirt and tie, with your name on the back of it, 24, representing the year that you were drafted. And you're just kind of looking down on that gorgeous baseball facility. What was going through your mind? The first thing was uh, this uh, PNC Park is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, that backdrop is that backdrop is is real and um, you know it, it looks it looks amazing. So that was probably the first thing, just uh, taking the whole stadium in, uh, and then you know probably I was just really thinking about you know seeing myself playing uh, on that field one day. Uh, I know it may take a few years to get to the big leagues, but uh, I can't wait to can't wait to call that my home and be able to play on that field every single day. And that's just kind of what I was picturing in my mind uh, as I was looking over looking over the stadium earlier this week um another jackson prep former player will warren made his big league debut uh, pitched into the sixth inning in, in his first start in the big leagues when when you saw that and and when you heard that he had been called up and was going to get that start a guy that played at the same high school that you did what does does that give you confidence or inspiration i mean obviously he's a pitcher and and you're a defensive player and a hitter and so it's a little bit different but th there's got to be something there right yeah definitely um seeing will make it to the big leagues uh being the first guy from jackson prep so that, that was pretty cool uh to think about um you know and also it kind of just shows that we have some good players in mississippi we, we always get looked down upon uh 
these other states, people say that they, they have better players and better competition in those states. And, uh, I think we got a really good group of guys from Mississippi that uh, are carving their way to the big leagues and actually in making it to the big leagues. So um, it was super cool to, to see him make that debut and, and do so well. Um, I'm really close with his family, so that was that was pretty, that was pretty cool to see that. Um, and now, you know, he made his debut. So uh, I know Jake Mangum's in Triple A. So hopefully, he can get called up soon, and and then maybe I can uh, I can be one of the next Jackson Prep Patriots to, to to make my debut. We all know that when you get to professional sports. By the way, visiting with uh, Connor Griffin, number nine overall pick taken by the Pittsburgh Pirates, signed his contract yesterday. Uh, and it was uh, a life-changing contract. Um, we, we know how difficult the, the road is to the big leagues. We know that professional athletics, regardless of whether you're talking about Major League Baseball or the NFL or the NBA or, or whatever, it's a business. Did the Pirates talk to you at all about what their plan is for you in terms of um, you know, how they would like to see you advance, a timeline that they would like to see you grow? Or is it just, hey, we're going to put you out there, go play, go play as well as you can, and don't worry about the other stuff? Yeah, it's a little mixture of both. Um, they didn't really give me a timeline. If The good thing about the Pirates, if you're playing good, they're going to move you through the through the system. So that, that, that's good to know with them. They want me to start at shortstop. So I'm, I'm probably going to start on the infield and uh, just, you know, see what happens playing short and, uh, if I if I need to move to the outfield at some point, I will. But uh, I think they want me to start it short and um, you know really focus on the bat, focus on the fundamentals of uh, playing shortstop, and uh, and then and then see what see what happens. So it definitely is it's, it's going to be a grind, and it may take me a little longer since I'm a high school guy. But but I know that here in here in a few years, and hopefully, uh, every the, the whole journey went you know the, how I how I planned it out to be and. Uh, I'm in the big leagues in three or four years, so uh, I think they, I think we're all on the same page, and I think that's kind of what they're thinking as well. Was that what you wanted to hear? We want you to play shortstop. Is that the the message that you wanted to hear from them, or did you want to hear, "Hey, we're just gonna we're gonna move you to the outfield and try and bring you along there"? I, you know, I, I really didn't, I really didn't care where they put me. Um, I, going through the the draft combine, all the meetings, they knew I was a shortstop and a center fielder, and. Um, Ultimately, it's their choice of what they want me, and uh, they 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 want to see me at short because they they think I can be something special there. Um, they they know that I'm a good athlete, and I would be able to transition to outfield pretty easy if if things weren't going well. So uh, they want to see me start it start it short, and then see what happens from there. So, Connor, rewinding uh, a couple of weeks to um, the night of the draft, you are surrounded by family and friends. You got a really big group of supporters there sitting next to your parents on the couch and, and kind of seeing some of the pictures and the videos from that night. When you finally heard your name called, can, can you take us back to like the emotions maybe for you and for your parents as, as that moment that you've been working for, for a really long time kind of comes to fruition? Yeah. So if you watch the video, you kind of, you kind of see me just drop my head. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of, a lot of relief in that in that moment because um, you know a lot of people think it's a, such a smooth going process, but I mean it started back in er, the early fall. I was having to do uh, in home visits with scouts, uh, doing workouts, and then going into the spring. I mean I just had a ton of ton of eyes on me every single game. Um, you know, and it, it's a lot. It's a lot uh, mentally, and just being able to uh, finally hear my name called. At that moment was was just an amazing amazing experience because something I worked hard for for a long time but um, you know glad glad that the pressure was done <laughs> just a lot of eyes on me I was in the spotlight a lot this season and had to watch, had to watch my every move so uh, just glad glad I landed in a great organization and uh, I landed with the team that you know wanted me the most and. Um, and so that's so I'm glad to be here uh, sitting in Pittsburgh right now. And and there's a guy that's pitching in Pittsburgh now named Skeens that seems to have uh, people pretty excited. Feels like a, a pretty good time uh, to be in that organization. Hey, only a minute left. Um, tell us what the next couple of months are going to look like. Are, are you going straight to low A ball? Uh, do they give you a little break and then you wait and do instructional leagues in the winter? What, what's coming up next? 
so I, I'll leave Saturday. I'm headed to Bradenton, Florida. Uh, I'll start the instructional league, so that's right below um, low A, and uh, I'll start some start some instructional league. I think we play 22 games or something, uh, and then we end in like the middle of September. I'll come home for four or five weeks, and then uh, I'm back. I'm back in Florida on October like sixth, October seventh, somewhere in there, and I'll be back out in Florida for uh, four or five weeks just doing doing some development stuff. So uh, they're they're kind of you know introducing me to the minor league baseball, but um, but I'm I'm ready to go, and then hopefully by next spring, you know, cruise through spring training, and and then it'll be off to low A, high A, or whatever, whatever they want to, you know, start me at. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, it's going to be a fun journey. We wish you all the best. Connor, thanks so much for your time. I know it's been a busy week. Can't wait to follow your career. Awesome.